Hey everybody, it's Native Pops here. Um, just gonna speak uh, kind of about like my family as I've kind of been speaking specifically more so one particular person in my family, my cousin. He uh, kind of has been struggling and it's really sad to see. He's um, He used to have an apartment to himself and then, you know, got evicted or whatever, you know, that's none of my concern to tell you how or why or whatever, but um, now he's staying at a motel and he's paying over $300 a week for it and it's just sad seeing, seeing how small it is, how, how much room it actually is, you know, it's like a, a small bedroom that just has a countertop with a kitchen in it and a very tiny bathroom and you know, he doesn't make very big checks, he doesn't have like a good job or anything, he's making minimum wage, and, but, you know, through the end, he's still smiling, he's still cracking jokes, he's still making everybody laugh, and you know, seeing somebody that strong, seeing somebody who can go through that and still come out happy or strong or whatever is, is just a, a good thing to see, it makes me feel moved it makes me want to take situations like that and stay happy as he can do which which is amazing um i wish i honestly wish i could help but you know i'm not i'm not that far in life where i have a career where i can stay financially stable while helping him or whatever you know i'm still living with my girlfriend and all that and it it sucks to see that you know other people in the family can get help from everybody else but then you got the family members sitting there portraying pictures saying oh he's a dope head blah, blah blah we don't need to help him you know it sucks but you know he's still he's still working his ass off he's always asking for more hours at work you know he's he's cutting it but it's not it's just not good enough for him yet to know to you know where he can feel he can actually go out and have fun with his girlfriend and her daughter you know they've been dating for some time you know I and it's been a while because I used to live with them back when I was in like sixth seventh and eighth grade and they started dating about when I was in seventh or eighth grade I can't remember but you know they're still together um and I know he loves her, he always says it, and he's always talking about her. I'm always seeing pictures of them going on little dates and all that, but you know, it's just them walking around in the woods or like, you know, at the local dam or whatever, you know. They're doing what they can to still find happiness while they're still struggling, and it's it's just great to see that. Um, so Ricky, this, one's, this video's for you, and I just want to say I love you. And you know you're you're really moving me as like heart wise being strong in situations like this you know as you know I've gone through struggles also but you still you still smile through it all you still crack jokes you still try and make people happy because you probably know what it's like to be not happy and I I understand that too so I just wanted to dedicate this video to you and I hope that you can make it through and I know that you are um, applying for the new apartment and I really do hope you get it and I really do wish you good luck in the future and yeah, thank you.